look like we back to 1989. Or, or is it 2006? Or 2012? Nah. Definitely 1989. episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy C Notes. Thanks for checking me out, man. I really appreciate you guys. And today we're going to review the iconic Military Blue Jordan Force early review. Yes, sir. The sneaker debuted in 1989. Of course, it's the fourth Jordan, Jordan 4. We know that already. But it got its color from being like a disc, this color. It got his name, Military Blue, for having like that disciplined colorway. That, that's what they saying. I kind of get it, but uh, let me know in the comment section below if you get that. Um, But this sneaker is so iconic that it, 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 it grew a lot of kids. We, now we got the Military Black a couple of years ago, which were like, was like one of the most popular Jordan colorways for our selling out. In a while, guys, the military black joints. But I really like these blue joints. I'm more of a fan of the French blue, right? But this military look, it's like this off-white and like this stealth gray. It's really giving me good vibes, man. You know, they'll do too much token hair, sneaker notes. Let's unbox them. Hit the music. Unboxing time. So you know it's something iconic when you get this box, right? When you get that box with the big red flight Jordan with that uh, elephant print or paint splattered at the bottom, the cement, you know it's something we've seen before, something retro. So it reads Air Jordan 4 Retro Off-White Military Blue. When you flip open the lid, you get like, you know, when you buy a new Apple product and you get that nice air gas. That's what you get. The inside is red. Of course, you get your cement tissue paper along with regular white tissue paper. And let's start with the uh, right side. Better yet, let's start with the left side because I, I like this new hang tag they did since the reimagine. I really like this hang tag. But here's a 360 view of the left shoe, the Military 4 Jordans. I, this blue is dope, man, because it's like a dull blue, but then it pops sometimes. I, I, I'm feeling this, guys. So let's start with the toe box. Nice leather, guys. They calling that off-white. Um, I get it. I get it. More in the gray family to me, the more I look at it, but they calling this off-white, guys. Around it, though, you do get gray. Uh, flint gray looks. Um, and that is... Uh, New Buck suede, but it does feel leather, guys. Hang tag is getting in the way. There we go. You see it? It does look like leather, man. I kind of wish it was leather. Keep it, keep it um clean more. But that is gray. It this sneaker looks like gray on gray on gray, but they calling it off white, man. The only thing I really see that's for sure off white is the shoelace um holders. But all right, they're calling it gray. But that is definitely gray. Of course, you got the regular Jordan 4 silhouette, which is so dope, man. Let me know in the comment section below. Reimagines or order all these, man. I think I'm leaning towards these, guys. But it could be, you know, because they here now. In the back, you get that Nike Air logo on the booty, man. I don't know why they make a sneaker without this, man. The Jordan logo's dope. But keep the Jordan logo on the, on, on the tongue. Give us Nike A on the back. It give us that nostalgia. The bottom here looks like the Flint Gray 13s. Blue, gray, white. Dope look, man. This silhouette is just super dope. Of course, you can't have a Jordan 4 without that bubble in there. And it's not just for design purposes. This actually helped MJ on the court. 
the uh, technology in here, but the bubble's dope, man. But this is blue. It's just it's just popping at you, man. Looks a little darker here and lighter here, but it's just popping, man. So to the tongue, of course, the flight uh, Jordan man. And usually when you get that flight Jordan man on the tongue, you get the upside down Air Jordan logo under. That's how it usually works. Inside the tongue, you get that beautiful. Jordan 4s are so comfortable, and the reason they're comfortable is because of the material on the inside. The sock line is a little light, too light for my liking, but this material on the inside is just, oh man, so comfortable. They kept it OG in here also, under the mesh gates, you get that blue colorway. The tag is getting annoying now, I should have started with the, with the right shoe, but you see that classic Jordan 4 shoelaces, I don't think you should get any other color, we never seen other colors on the Jordan 4. If I can remember right. But the gate, man. They kept it OG with the gates also. Here we go to the right shoe. And um, before I get into anything, I remember seeing this little piece right here. If we could get it. See that little piece in the middle? Well, I had four pairs of Jordan 4 reimagines. And they all had that little piece in the middle. I guess that's just what it is now. It ain't like a um a floor. I guess this is with a with a with a uh where the materials connect, so you get that little piece there. So nothing to worry if you get that. I had this on all four pairs of my Jordan 4 reimagines. But this is the right shoe here. Um, quality's A1, man. Well, not A1 because of that piece. And you do see little, like, little hits of wrinkles already, even though I haven't put the shoe on foot yet. But I think that's more because of the leather quality. I think this is good leather quality. This is why the sneaker was $210. And, um... Not too bad, like no glue stains or anything, but you do get little dents on certain parts of the sneaker because of the leather. <laughs> military 4s, man. Yes, sir. So this is just a quick review of the Jordan 4 military joints. Delicate sneaker, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it is leather, mostly. So it's, you can just wipe off any dirt. But around the toe box, man, that's... That's going to be an issue. It's going to be hard to keep these clean, man. But 1989, I think this year is the 35th anniversary of the Jordan 4. Do your math. 89, 2024. So we should be seeing more Jordan 4s this year. And I think we should get a reimagined restock too. I, I feel like we're going to get one, man. And, I, and I'm here for it. But um, in the comment section below, again, let me know. Military 4s or reimagined joints. I feel like they should have reimagined these. And made these new buck um, instead of leather. That would have been dope, man. But let me know if you cop it. I think the release date is May 4th, I believe. Um, and I heard they made over a million pairs. So if you didn't get yours, don't worry. Goat has them right now for about $270, $280. Not too bad, but I feel like everyone should get their hands on this pair just like the Gratitude 11s. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Get rich.